Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to learn how to use a sort transformation in Dataflow task. Uh, in this demo, we will be using sort transformation to remove the duplicate records and only pass the unique records to our destination. Okay, so first of all, we have to have some uh, file or source. In this case, I have a text file, so that has some uh, duplicate records as well. So if you see with ID ID one, I have some duplicate records, and I have some duplicate records with ID three as well. Okay, and there is only one unique record that I have it. To load this data into SQL Server table, we have to have created a SQL Server table, and uh, I have created one with the these uh, columns: ID, first name, last name, address, and phone number. Okay. Now the next step is uh, we create a SSIS package. Open your bids or SSDT whatever you have according to the version of SSIS installed on your system. Go to the SSIS packages tab and create new SSIS package. Now to read the data from the flat file we need to use the data flow task. Inside the data flow task we will be using flat file source. We need to create a connection manager for the flat file. Hit new then hit browse and take uh, um, scroll or uh, you know go all the way to the folder wherever your file is in my case it is in the input folder and the file name is customer file okay now pass this information if your file has text qualifiers or uh, if you want to skip some rows in my case I do not want to skip any rows and I do not have any text qualifiers and my first row does have the column names okay go to the columns go to advanced and here you can change the data type of output columns in uh, my case I want to change the data type of ID to the integer so I did change that one and uh, also uh, if I want to change the names like first name I want to change it to F name or last name I want to make it to F L name I can do it and I uh, in, in this uh, demo I'm not gonna do it phone number in is worker 50 right now I want to change to the 10 hit OK. Now retain null values from the source as null values in the data flow. If you are having some values those are blanks and you want to convert them to the null that this uh, tab can be helpful and this can be used. Uh, I don't want to use it, use it I just want to keep the things as it is. Hit on columns and then click OK. Now we will be using the sort transformation. Bring the sort transformation here and connect flat, flat file source to it open the sort transformation by double clicking or you can right click and open it now you have to pass those all the columns that you want pass through the sort transformation here right now if I will uh, let's say I want to ignore ID I can leave the ID and rest uh, I will pass through but I want every column from my source okay here what we have here uh, remove uh, rows with duplicate sort values this is the property that we want to use to remove the duplicate records click here and then hit OK now we want to load these records into the destination and we will be using OLEDB destination to connect to our SQL Server table configure the OLEDB connection um, manager for the destination hit new now the data connection is already available I can delete it and create new one here you will be providing the SQL Server instance name and database name so I selected one and then I have test database where my customer table is hit OK now here you will be providing the table name or the view name in which you want to load the data in our case we want to load the data into the customer table so select the customer table go to the mapping if on the source side and destination side you have the same columns they will be automatically connected they would be automatically mapped if not then you have to do it manually so in our case as first name is not exactly matching with F name so we have to do it manually and the same goes for the last name once uh, the mapping is done hit OK now our SSIS package is ready what it will do it will re read six records in our case and then uh, uh, store them in the memory and just uh, give us output as the uh, three unique records 
So I suggest you, if you have a lot of records, like millions of records, and you are reading from a flat file, Excel file, or XML file, and you want to um, remove the duplicates, you might not want to use a sort transformation. If you are low on memory, or you are running other processes on your computer, and you don't want to you know, block them and wait for them for a long time, okay? So what other options you have? You can read the data from the file system, and load the data into some staging table that you can truncate on each of the execution, load it and that table, and then use the SQL statement to extract only unique records and load into your destination. Okay, so before you make a decision, it's a good idea to take a look on your hardware and have some information how many records you will be getting on a daily basis to load in the memory and use this transformation. So transformation is asynchronous transformation, so it is going to block the process till everything every record will be put in memory and then start processing for the output so let's go back and check our table I'm, I'm truncating it in case there are some records so right now there is no record in this table let's come back to ssdt or bids and run our ssis package now we can see that it read six records and output three records and those rec records three records are uh, loaded or inserted to the SQL server table by using OLEDB destination let's go back back to SSMS run our select statement okay we can see that the three records unique records are loaded to the table there were multiple records for ID3 and but only one record came through and there were multiple records for ID3 and uh, the only one record came and there, this record was unique so that also came through so um, thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you in next video